The last pieces of I-90 are being towed to Renton. Why? So we can pass the savings on to you. Hello, I'm Cornell Hooper, owner of the Renton Bridge Emporium. We have the finest in seconds, irregulars, and bridge remnants. These are quality bridges with just a few slight flaws and defects. We've got I-90, we've got the Hood Canal Bridge, and for you serious collectors, we've got Galloping Gertie. Don't buy a little gift wrap piece of I-90 from a stranger. Come see your friends in Renton. We'll sell you a whole lane at incredible savings. How can I... Remember last year when they wouldn't let you watch the hydros from the bridge? Now you own it. Shop around and then come see me at the Bridge Emporium. We may be underwater, but we won't be undersold. See you there. Bill Nye, the science guy here. It's time for Almost Live. Tonight will feature me. Some Christmas information you can't possibly live without and me. And now here's the guy who will soon... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, really, really. Well, you know, it's a special night. It's a very special night on Almost Live. There's a forecast for snow. It's supposed to snow tonight. Ooh, ooh. You know why they say that? Because... As you know, in the Northwest, even the forecast of snow sends everybody spinning out of control, which is really exciting. But that really hammers home that it's getting close to Christmas. All the kids are faxing Santa, which is nice, you know. You know, I remember that most of us were pretty scared the first time we saw Santa because he looked a little too much like Uncle Ralph after a couple hits of Jack Daniels, so at least he did to me. Later, Santa would be one of our superheroes along with God and Superman. And, uh, but, you know, kids today don't have the same kind of respect. Sometimes you can hear them betting on whether Santa could take Hulk Hogan, which is sad. You know, I think that's sad, you know. But then there's the, there's the Christmas. I forget exactly what age when this happens, but when you, when you start to question Santa, and that's the Christmas, you get all clothes for gifts. You remember that? <laughs> you know. But the downtown stores are, this is true, you may have read this, they're so busy this year that you actually have to make a reservation to see Santa. You've got to call, you've got to give the date and time you'd like to see Santa, and then you have to say whether you want a smoking or non-smoking Santa, you know. That's just not the way I remember it. Plus, I've noticed that Santa looks a little different depending on where you go to visit him, you know, and we did a little investigating on this. And let, let me show you what I found. For example, in my neighborhood, the Rainier Valley, Santa wears MC Hammer pants and a bandana. You can see him there. But he looks in my neighborhood. In Enumclaw, you'll find him wearing sporty overalls and a slightly pissed off look, you'll notice there. Just slightly. Hanford Santa has a patchy beard, a lead suit, and, and a nice healthy glow about him there. You know. In Orting, Santa's pants are sagging a little. He's got some weird things hanging from his beard. I don't know, Copenhagen, you know, I don't know what it is. You make up your own mind. Up on Capitol Hill, St. Nick's wears dockers and has a very well-trimmed beard. That's uh, on Capitol Hill there. Uh, Auburn Santa will pop down the chimney wearing a baseball cap, cowboy boots, and a keep-on trucking belt buckle, which is nice. Finally... Up in Snohomish County, Santa's ready for the holidays with an Aqualong face mask and fins. So, so he'll get to you. <laughs> well, you know, it sounds like quite a holiday season here in the Northwest, but, you know, the holidays can be a trying time for everybody, and certain situations, you know, they can arise which require good judgment. And to help you out, we've prepared this little guide. Take a look. Now it's time for measured response or overreaction. Mm. Mm. <gasps> my tongue. Oh, oh. So we go to the furniture store and we're in the small car seat and we're going to pick up this chest of drawers and this thing is this big. Oh. 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 Got wow. at the airport right oh, now. Oh, cool. Great. Yeah, he just flew yeah. into town. So I feel really bad about this, but. I'm going to have to cancel tonight oh. because I really want to go out and see him, and he's oh. only going to be here for a few hours. Yeah. Okay, well, listen, I will call you tomorrow, and we'll get together, okay? Okay. Okay, All bye. Bye-bye. Right. <sighs> <laughs> 
That's an overreaction. That's a measured response. Okay, just want to declare that up. Stay with us, we got a great show, and we'll be right back with Bill Nye, the science guy. Right Monday on a woman's place. We'll show you how to get more attention from your man using nothing more than a new nightgown and a pair of pliers. All that and adorable miniature dolls. That's Monday on a woman's place. If a man isn't satisfied with a joke on Almost Live, what do we do? We change it while he waits. If he wants a joke about Renton, we give it to him. If he wants a joke about the Mariners, we give it to him. The same jokes as the big national shows, but without the big name credits. And what will happen if the jokes aren't funny? We'll, we'll be, be fired. fired. I guarantee it. Well, we're, we're back. Thank you. Thank you, George. George Zimmer there. We book only the big names on this show, only the really big names. Well, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Almost Live is not just, not just a comedy show. No, it's also a very important forum for the investigation of claims of the paranormal. And here, probably the most abnormal person that we know, please give a warm round of applause for Bill Nye, the science guy. <laughs> Nice to see you, Bill. They love Bill. Bill, this is your crowd, obviously. They can't get enough of you. We always love to have you here. You know, last, last time you were here, you had just huge effects. Everything worked great. It was wonderful. I know you're going to top it tonight. <laughs> well, golly, Mr. Casey. You've got Kaysen. fire. You've got lots yeah, of fire. Uh, here. We're going to do our dog on this, John. Okay. But first, as always, please put on your safety glasses this year, this week, rather, yeah? in a festive holiday red. Wow, look at that. <laughs> John, we're going to top it, huh? All right, All we're right. going to top it. Okay. All right, John, uh, consider the following. Okay, we've got a flask here. What type of flask, John? Uh, a Pyrex flask. Well, Pyrex indeed, brand name, but this 500 is... 500 milli milliliter. Yeah, that's like you get when you buy a beer, John. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> Thank you for putting now, it in my language, yeah, Bill. Yeah, sure. In layman's language. Now, John, just, just consider the following It's a safe experiment. Pyrex thing now. Okay, try, try to blow the balloon into there. Try to blow the... Okay, Once here you go. Have... Flask, by the way. Florence flask, not Erwin Meyer, not boiling. Florence flask. Florence flask here. This is a Florence filled flask. with steam, filled with water vapor. I'm going to back I'll, away for just I'll just a rotate here. this out of the way. Just and this past. was a Bunsen burner named after whom? Uh, Mr. Bunsen. Robert Bunsen. That's right, John. Thank right you. on top of it. I got that. As the water vapor cools, ladies and gentlemen, the balloon will be drawn in. Now, Amazing, you see, Bill. I can see. Yeah, it's happening. Look. It's see, happening it's, big it's time. Hidden. Now, because we're so on a big time comedy. It's being blown. It's being sucked. It's being sucked. John, yes, you've crystallized right. my thoughts. Right. Now we have the uh, cool just a little more in the ice water bath, hoping for that dramatic. Whoa! Whoa! Unbelievable! All right. So remember at home, if you're having trouble blowing your balloons, have them, suck them with a uh, Florence with flask. A Florence flask. There John, moving over here. <clears throat> okay. Ordinary dish of water may look like a pizza pan to you. Please stand on that side. It looks a lot. Like Secret a pizza powder, okay. lycopodium powder from the lycopodium plant in the swamps of Britain. Really? And I put it on here not for any reason, just this so you can see. This is lycopodium powder from British plants, you're saying? That's right. Okay, you once again. You can see the surface of the water. Okay. Right? Yeah, now it's all dusty. Dusty water. Dusty water, indeed. You've crystallized my thoughts. Now, that is soap uh -huh. from the King washroom, John. Now, this Whoa. happens very quickly. I think I'll put on a balloon to handle this, though. <laughs> John, don't worry. I've got it under control. Okay. So after a fashion. Right. 
And uh, so, watch this very quickly. Okay. Soap from the King Washroom. Whoa! Whoa! Ladies and gentlemen. It happens so fast. It happens virtually at the speed of sound. Okay. Now, John, what that principle. <laughs> surface tension being broken. Surface tension. Water has uh, grabbing on because yeah, of the yeah. asymmetrical molecules. They're like Mickey Mouse ears. They're grabbing onto each other. Okay, now. The... We've got a little uh, motor boat. Little, little boat here. Motor boat. That Bill is going have... to attach glue to because That's right. it says that glue can actually power the boat. Oh, boy. Well, actually, uh -oh. Disaster. Not a disaster. But but yeah. look, the boat is actually moving. Oh, there. It's look, flying. Look, it's going. It's flying. Just because he's put glue on it. So, so it's breaking surface tension, and that is driving the surface tension motor boat around in circles. Look at that. Yes. Isn't that That's very incredible. Look, it's going around. So... Okay, let's surface wrap it up. Surface tension, no. surface tension. Surface now. tension. If you've got a boat, dump a, big, a big bunch of glue on the back of it, you can water ski. That's right, right yeah, John. That's, that's right. right. Now, water. That's what I'm talking about, water. Okay. Surface tension, steam, water vapor. Now, you say to me, Bill, you say, why should I drink Diet Cola? Is it, does it make any doggone difference? Uh, yeah. Does it? That's what yes, I was it asking. does, John. It does. Consider the following. Okay. Ordinary cola product, vat of water. An important sponsor for Almost Live, by the way. Sinks. And it sinks. Not like a rock, but it sinks. And you know why, John? Has this much aspartame, 160 times sweeter than sugar. And consider the following. Look at <gasps> It actually floats. You see? That's so all you, you have need it. to do, John. So if you're on your glue boat and you don't want your products to sink, drink Diet Coke. It'll float if it goes overboard. Once again, helpful information from Bill Nye, the science guy. Bill, nice to, what do you, you know, nice to have you here. And apparently he's going to blow the studio up. Bill... Always nice to have you here. Let's have nice a big hand for Bill Nye, the science guy. Oh, oh, thank you, Bill. Wow. On a woman's place, we'll have on some cross-dressing plumbers. We'll talk to a Hollywood makeup woman who once saw Kevin Costner naked. And we'll show you 10 easy ways you and your lover can knock off your husband without getting caught. <laughs> All that and you get here. Oh, me too, Mom. Is there anyone special that you'll be bringing with you this time? Oh, this is it. Not this year. Maybe next Christmas. I'll see you soon, okay? Bye-bye. Rock and roll. Sound familiar? Are you facing another holiday without a special guy? Perhaps you're not ready to introduce your current boyfriend to your family. You need Holiday Hunk. He's polite, personable, and has great pecs. A man any woman is proud to take home to her family. Mom! Mom, I'm home! Hi! Hi. Hi. And I've brought someone special. Oh. Hello. Holiday Hunk will let your father cheat at cards. Flirt with great Aunt Millie. Ask your mother if she's your sister. Toss a football with your younger brother. Listen to your grandfather's war stories. Refuse to dance with anyone but you on New Year's Eve. He's perfect. Dad, I want you to meet Kelly. It's a pleasure to meet you, sir. <laughs> <sighs> Holiday Hunk comes in a variety of colors, in sizes tall, taller, and really tall. There are hunks to fit every woman's budget. No need to worry. Will he call me again? You're in control. Holiday Hunk, order now. Good evening and welcome to the John Report. I'm John, here's my report. Seattle Sonic Dale Ellis played his first game of the season on Wednesday and it took him a while to readjust. When the horn sounded to end the quarter, Ellis pulled over to the side of the court and got out his license. <laughs> The recent death of multimillionaire Armand Hammer created protests in Tacoma where kids claimed they had tickets to his upcoming rap show and wanted refunds. <laughs> Seattle now has a designated zone where known drug dealers are not allowed to enter. Law officials say that since spending $4 million on renovations, officials say this should be enough for both comprehensive and collision insurance. <laughs> 
There will soon be cellular phone service from Vancouver, British Columbia to Portland, Oregon. It's for people who love I-5 so much they want to talk about it all day. <laughs> Northwest Airlines is buying part of Hawaiian Airlines. A spokesman said that Northwest pilots wanted a chance to sample some tropical drinks. <laughs> I A newspaper report that the average Seattle Mariner makes $389,000 is deceptive, according to a team spokesman. He said that when you deduct penalties for low batting averages, errors, and sloppy play, the average salary is actually just about $7 an hour. <laughs> the Soviet Union may sign a contract to build some parts for the, the Boeing 777. Soviet officials say this is good news since many of their engineers have been out of work since Chernobyl. <laughs> The Soviets were hesitant to ask for the deal at first because Russian industry is plagued with indifferent managers and a labor force that shows up drunk, works for a few hours, and then sits around all day. <laughs> Boeing officials say it sounds like a perfect match. <laughs> when work begins in the mid-90s, the Soviets will be put in charge of making the part that gets blamed whenever there's a crash. <laughs> Boeing also celebrated the completion of the 100th 747-400 this week with several buckets of champagne. Then everybody went back to work. <laughs> the next day, Boeing announced that the 101st 747 will be a special edition with both wings on the same side and the words, Lockheed Bites It, spray painted on the tail. This has been the John Report. Thank you and good night. Wednesday on a woman's place. We'll talk about men who are always caring, kind. Wednesday on a woman's place. <laughs> Don't do it. Huh? Don't do it, John. Don't do what? Don't jump. Jump? I wasn't, I wasn't going to jump. I was just looking at the scenery here. Why would you think I was going to jump? Who are you? I'm your guardian angel, John. And you thought I was going to jump? Well, considering the way your life has gone, I just thought... <laughs> well, I guess I was wrong. I'm sorry. Well, hey, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Come here, come here. Come back here. I mean, you know, I... You know, I mean, I think that my life has, you know, turned out pretty okay. Compared to what? Compared to your friends? The successful real estate people? The lawyers? The accountants? Compared to that, John? Well, wait, what are you saying? That, that if you had lived my life, that you'd be jumping? It'd be about a 50-50 proposition. Well, what if I had never lived? I mean, wouldn't the world be a different place if I had never lived? If you'd never lived. Well, they wouldn't have all the scratch marks on the Mercer Street Tunnel. And that house in the university district wouldn't have burned down. Probably. That wasn't my fault. Okay, you stick to that story. They wouldn't have sold as much Rainier Ale over the last 20 years, I suppose. And let's face it, Bill Nye would be making a lot more money right now. One, two, three! Ah! <laughs> what a putz. <laughs> Just kidding, okay. Well, that's just all the time we have tonight. If you'd like to be a member of our studio audience, all you have to do is call us for free tickets. The number is 448-4556. And if you don't think it's worth the trouble to drive all the way to the studio, when you can just watch the show on TV, listen to this. Some of the members of our studio audience tonight will be getting tickets to see Paul Simon in concert at the Tacoma Dome. So isn't that great? Yeah, they think so. And we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.